some highlights of our upcoming dramedy Too Much to Remember, starring the teens of Venice High School. Too much to remember. The next morning, I jump out of bed, throw on some jeans, and hurry downstairs to catch Dad before he leaves for work. I run to the kitchen, but the only person there is my brother Kevin. Dad, leave yet? Yeah, just now. Dad, wait! What is it? I stand in the driveway, with my hands in my pockets, shivering. Can I? Get in here. So, uh, concussion's not enough for you? You want pneumonia too? Wow, Dad, you sounded exactly like Jotty. <laughs> yeah. What's on your mind? Nothing. I mean, I just want to know if I can go to school today. How's your head? Good. Ribs? Good. I feel great, Dad. That's good. I'm glad you're feeling better. Let's give it one more day. Why? I feel fine. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you say the same thing before you threw up on your brother's slippers? Yeah, but... One more thing. Oh, come on, Dad. I'm tired of being locked up. Well, think about that the next time you go walking through an alley at 2 in the morning. It was 1. What? Nothing. I wish you'd stop mumbling. Now go on. Beat it. I have to get to work. Dad. No. But... No. I can't believe you're making me miss school. Son, I usually need a crane to get you out of bed for school. Now suddenly you're upset because I'm letting you stay home? Good point. Well, I think we're supposed to be having a history test this week. You know, I think you're right. I am? I mean, I am. I stopped by Loki yesterday and got all your assignments. I'm glad you reminded me. Mm, me too. They're in the living room on the coffee table. You can work on them today while you're locked up. No go. Dad. No. But? No. Now go do your homework. Yeah, whatever. I know how much Dad hates that expression. Anything else you want me to do while you're keeping me locked up for no rational reason other than to punish me? Walking through the alley at 2 in the morning. I made it about two steps before. Joe, get back here! I think I pushed him just a little too far. I slowly approached his window, holding my ribs. In the first place, son, I'm not punishing you for walking through an alley at 2 in the morning. It- Despite the obvious lack in judgment, Dad. the doctor said you need to rest. Witch doctor? Just stop it, okay? The last time, Dr. Kratz is not a witch doctor. No, I- Do Nor is he crazy. But- Nor was he going to check your prostate. You just imagined it. I- <laughs> Furthermore, your brother did not abandon you to fix cars. He's a busy doctor with patients who need him, who don't go wandering through an alley at two in the morning. It was- I don't want to hear any of this again. But I- Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, maybe if you'd have stayed home yesterday, like I asked you to. Dad. I'd have probably let you go to school today, but you didn't, did you? Dad. Did you? No, sir. Despite what I said, you went out twice. Twice? What? Yes, twice. Okay, twice, sorry. It's not gonna happen again, is it? No, sir. It won't happen again. Good. Now, please. It's too cold for you to stand out here with no shoes on or jacket. Dad. Joey. Fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Something else? Yeah. What was the second place? The what? You said, in the first place. I did? Yeah, right before. I'm not punishing you for wandering through an alley at two in the morning. Hmm. Sorry, never mind. No, you're right. There was a second place. What? It was one. What? Nothing. Have a nice day, son. Good day.